Storage facilities are common near shore ports, and for landlocked countries, it proves a challenge and affects the prices of products reaching citizens. Songa Jean Bosco, who owns a company that transports products across countries, said that this facility would solve the storage problem, but also cut down on costs and delays. Kigali Logistics Platform is an inland port constructed in Masaka sector of Kijukira district. It is capable of receiving about 50 tons per day, which is about 640 tons per year, servicing 50,000 containers as well. Dahayo John is a trader in Rwanda who is supervising the loading of his product that was brought from China. He says that this has come as a solution. I have come here to load my products. This port will help us a lot. Many times a truck would come and you fail to find ways to offload your truck. We use plastic shelter when it is raining, but now you just offload and load your products without wasting time. Nothing gets rained on anymore. You simply load and go. The chairperson of PSF, Robert Wapfukure, explained that this inland port will also serve as port for the train systems that are yet to come, which is why he said other phases of the facility need to be constructed as soon as possible. Uh, the dry port is a facility which uh, enables the importers uh, to do their work quickly. They bring their goods from uh, different ports, Mombasa and Dar es Salaam, and they are able to offload uh, in, in those stores of the dry port and they are able to do their business faster. Currently, uh, more are investing in transport. Before, um, we are, uh, Rwandese tradesmen have been using the neighboring countries' transport facilities, uh, which was costing us a lot of money uh, and was also causing delays at the port. But currently, you find that even the price was high. The price before uh, a trip to the Islam to Chigari was about 5,000. Currently, it has come down to 3,000. The CEO of DP World Global, Sultan Ahmed bin Sulayem, explained that he was pleased with the investment in Rwanda and that this facility would open regional opportunities for traders and investors. We see Rwanda, sir as the gateway to the heart of Africa. This is what you created, and this is what we're going to use. And we are very grateful for you to give us the opportunity. What is good about Rwanda for us is, first of all, a friendly government, uh, a country that has governance, and a system that works, and then dedicated teams from the government. I can't thank enough the government employees and what you see here is not just for Rwanda. When we were telling people we will reach Central African Republic, we reach Burundi, Malawi, Congo, and of course Tanzania and Kenya. The storage facilities being used now are part of phase one, which cost about 50 million US dollars. Phase two will consist of building cold rooms and other storage units.